Welcome back. Now we're on a different Facebook page. Never a dull moment for the town of Warren. And it's, uh, <clears throat> I guess I could call this a battle between residents and citizens. It's the, um, it's the, uh, police mafia friends versus the normal, um, the normal voters and citizens and residents, um, is what it seems to be. <clears throat> Not saying that some people aren't normal, but it's just, as I said in a separate video, it's exactly that. You could have a, a police employee or a any town employee do something crooked. They get caught, and then, and then it turns out the cheerleaders are out there spreading all the false information for people to read, and then that's the sad part, and that's why I'm doing these videos, is I'm looking to prove to the uh, smart people in Warren, or, or everybody in general in Warren, that you're being lied to. That's the whole purpose of these videos. Is so people post things and say, oh no, that's not true. This is what happened. Then people go, oh my God, you know. So, so here's a perfect example <clears throat> uh, of, of that. So we are now on James Gagner's Town of Warren page, which is a um, which is uh, technically not correct because it's not the Town of Warren page. It's actually James Gagner's personal page, which means that um, this is personal information because it makes it sound like it's a Town of Warren Facebook page, but it's not. So that's deceiving. That shouldn't be worded that way, but anyhow, that's his right, whatever he wants to call it. So, okay, so this is June 29, 8 14 a.m. Mary Sullivan Murray posts. When was the last selectman's meeting? I've been checking YouTube. Nothing. Our police chief left. We have an acting chief. A search happening. Anyone know? So this actually pertains to me, these postings. So Eddie Krakowitz posts, posts, the town does not have a YouTube channel of their own, which is a true statement. The YouTube channel WarrenMass.info is Burrell's channel. Oh, that's mine. I don't trust anything that guy posts. So I'm going to make a public statement to direct towards Ed Krakowitz. The reason why the town does not have a YouTube channel is because the cable TV program refuses to have a YouTube channel. And the reason that their staff explained to me that they don't want a YouTube channel is because they don't want the videos to be viewed by the public, which is a opposite situation of me. I film videos so the public can watch it if you missed a meeting. Instead, the town government wants you to go to every selectman's meeting every every week or whatever, sit there, listen, and then go sell, go tell somebody else. There are the replays, that replay, and then that's it. And then, and then some of them replay while you're at work so you never see the meetings. So, to answer Ed Krakowitz's, and I have no problem with Ed Krakowitz uh, explaining my answer, and the truth is, I have a YouTube channel, so the videos are there permanently. So, two months down the road, a week after, anybody can watch it, and, um, <clears throat> and everybody knows who watches my video, they're truthful and correct, which means that when the meeting starts, it's recording, when the meeting ends and adjourns, it stops recording. The whole thing goes on YouTube, whether all from A to Z. There's no in between. There's no editing at all. That's why uh, sometimes my videos are long because they're not edited. They're the whole thing from beginning to end, and I have all the original files and the YouTube files. So he's actually providing. So not only is he slandering me, he's providing false information to the residents of Warren saying saying don't trust anything that I post well you should trust everything I post because it contradicts everything that the Ed and his uh, cheerleaders lie for so <clears throat> so of course Mary Selva Murray says oh okay thank you so in other words so he's lied to her in this public Facebook page of James Gagner where she's now gonna say well gee I'm not gonna go to the YouTube channel because Eddie Krakowitz says so don't trust anything he, that I post 
I have the most trustworthy content, which is pretty sad, meaning my content and video footage of public meetings is more truthful than the town of Warren government's information, their own videos, their own documents, their own meeting minutes. My information is truer and truthful, more truthful than the town's records, which is pretty uh, bleep and sad. So that should so so Mary. Sullivan Murray, if you're watching, you just got an education on how crooked the town is lying on their own records. And of course, Stacy LaFlower has to chime in. Yep, he's a nut. Well, I'm not the, the one who, who's uh, uh, married to a um, husband with a uh, 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 taken sexual pictures naked problem. So, and uh, maybe you should get your uh, canine husband checked into the... Uh, uh, checked into the um, sex offender registry board but of course she's not going to do that because because uh, they're married heaven forbid of uh, you know Joey having inappropriate sexual relationships with many women before her anyhow Eddie Quaker with Stacey LaFlower yes a nut is an understatement well that's not a true statement because obviously I just proved that Ed Krakowitz is a is a liar and can't tell the truth. Don M. Rola Guzik. Oh, wow. That's the police chief secretary. Wow, I'm so glad that she was able to post her personal opinion on here, which is all a lie. Chief Spakowski has retired. Well, that's a false statement to the public. Uh, make sure if you're seeing it, yes. Sergeant Millette has been named acting chief. That is a true statement. I heard that they are getting a committee together to do a search for a new permanent chief. So it turns out the chief resigned, did not retire. So even the chief secretary has to lie on behalf of the town. Mary Sullivan, ah, thank you. Okay, and then of course she posts again. The town is in very good hands with Chief Millette. Well, I don't quite agree with that. And there's a video coming out on that. He is hardworking, dedicated, and has the best interests of, his, uh, of the town in his main agenda. Okay. Well, the only problem with that is, is when you false when you commit a felony and falsify a report protecting uh, Bill Ramsey, that does not look good as far as uh, being in the position of acting chief when you've committed a felony while on duty. So, uh, Mary Sullivan, I agree, he's one of the best. Well, we'll do. Oh, we'll do well to appoint as acting chief. Okay, and of course, I already automatically know that Keith Nicholas, a Warren police officer, has to chime in with his uh, big mouth. Uh, this is probably the issue that both the public and board of selectmen would probably actually agree on. Okay, well, we'll see there. Uh, Jill Jeffrey Miller, I second that. Okay, Keith Nicholas. Okay, oh, here we go. Here's a Keith Nicholas thing. Oh, this one makes me exciting. Uh, yes, okay. Stay away from that YouTube quote channel. Wow. Biased garbage. Well, it's not biased garbage because it's actually government town videos that are on there. There will be a chief search if needed in due time, not in a rush, no need to be. The point of from chief for the reason the department is in great hands with Chief Millette has been great managing the PD and community relations. I think we'll have a chief that makes everyone happy. I don't think so. You won't have a chief that makes people happy unless you find somebody from far, far away like Maine, South Carolina, Florida, unless you get nobody from Mass. Let's see, the best place for the lading information is on the town website. That is true and correct. You should always go to the town website to see agendas. Looks like the last selectman's meeting was June 21. The next one hasn't been posted yet. There is also put together for police search committee. That's just the link to the thing. And then Mary Sullivan Murray then says, thank you. And that's the last post. So, so that's it for this one. And uh, as I said, I just wanted to video, uh, video all the... Uh, private social media stuff so this way we'll know you'll get an education on who lies and deceives the public and of course we have uh, people uh, like um, uh, Mary Sullivan Murray who are in inquiring for information and are always and basically these cheerleader people lie for the police officers and lie for uh, other people by spreading false information so in other words, so this, this Facebook page you do not get truthful information on, which has obviously been proven in the past five years. So anyhow, so that's all for this video.